I want to get your take on this because a number of oil and gas related companies are worried they're going to shut them down this week. And Davos, you said this. Uh, you said uh, the official global standards on sustainability and climate were needed to align capitalism with what society wants from it. Are you buying into these global standards? Are you going to stop lending to oil and gas companies? Yeah, we, we have. $40 billion outstanding loans to oil and gas companies. We do capital markets transactions. Two days ago, there was an article written how that we are one of the major funders. We fund oil and gas companies. And those leaders, including uh, Vicky, uh, I just saw uh, from uh, Occidental and talking to her, those leaders are trying to transition to companies. Carbon capture storage went out to North Dakota with Senator Kramer. They are have a net zero commitment where they're taking the carbon capture and sticking it in the box and shale in the pipelines, and we're helping people figure that out. Look, we need to have both. We need it. lots of oil and gas, energy security, and we need to start to make the transition. The key is to keep it all in balance. On the standards, the issue is right now we're about ready to be handed a set of standards by Europe that will apply to American companies, subsidiaries here, and ultimately companies, the SEC. And so what we're trying to say is the private sector for the last four or five years said, here's a set of standards which are straightforward. Adopt these. We have 200 companies already have disclosed on them. But don't, don't take us in all these different directions because then we can actually drive you know, the, the private markets. Capitalism will solve these problems if you let it go. Yeah. If you try to micromanage it, if you try to take it away, it's done. Secondly, with the IRA Act in the U.S., the U.S. can now dominate this question of making this transition work from energy supply, energy security, getting them to ship to Germany, critically important for Germany to help uh, hold themselves in to fight the war. In the conversations between Germany and the U.S. welcomes, we actually participated in those to say, talk to each other. They need supply, and out it goes in those. And so think about that dynamic in the questions, but we have to get the environment piece right, or, or we'll start being taxed on environmental issues and mm. stuff. So we're trying to get the balance. We're you trying know, to Germany's building coal plants. It, 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 because they made a mistake about single source of supply. They freely admit that. Yeah. Now they're vers diversifying their supply, and then they're, they're continuing to deploy uh, wind and others. But what they're really doing is bringing LNG out of the United States, and that's a great opportunity for us. On the other hand, we, about 18% of all the clean energy in the United States runs for us. It's Texas. It's Oklahoma, the wind, the solar. Yeah. That's where we do this stuff. And it's, so it's, it's a wonderful thing. And with Kevin and others, had him talk to a group of CEOs about this. He, there's a balanced view here. We can drive it. Even Senator Manchin, I heard the clip there. You know, we need all, yeah. and we need to drive everybody there. UAE, COP28, that's a lot of controversy. We believe that oil companies have to be at the table or else it won't happen. Yeah, I mean, we spoke with Senator Manchin yesterday. Obviously, West Virginia, an important state when it comes to this uh, production. Here's what he said about getting to the other side. Watch this. I do not, I do not subscribe that you can eliminate your way to a cleaner environment. I subscribe that you can innovate your way to a cleaner, less carbon. But you're going to recognize you've got to have the horsepower to run the country. Your reaction? That, that's the, by the way, if you put other, if you put, Kevin Kramer would say the same thing. We got to innovate and drive innovation. At least he said it to me on many occasions. And so, I think there's a, a, a big middle here to drive this change. And, and what Senator Manchin is saying important, important in that. In that state, a big battery facility is going in right now. You know, in our state, we built a big solar installation with Duke Power to supply. And so there's just a lot of great activity can happen here. There's a sustainable aviation fuel plant that just got, is up coming out of the ground in eastern Georgia that we finance that adds sustainable aviation fuel into the network in the southeast. A micro of what we ultimately need. But a plane can fly on it with no change in the infrastructure. How cheap is that? Yeah. You know, and that's what we're trying to figure out from a business standpoint. If people give us a bunch of standards that take us off in directions, what we're saying is get to a common set of standards that the business community agrees with and let's go.